Hello everyone. It is, oh my goodness, it's Thursday. It is October 24th and we are on day four, 24 of 31 projects in 31 days. And I'm excited that we've gotten this far. Um, we've gone through Christmas and Halloween and some fall. Um, so I'm grateful for you. We've done a couple of cards that were not any holiday, that were just um, use the holiday, um, the, the mini catalog paper. Um, so I'm excited that um, that we're here and we're moving on. Um, this is Lori Bradley and I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri and we have, um, I'm going to go back to a stamp set that was available last fall um, and it's called Marius Trees. Um, it was available as a bundle when it came out but it's, it's not a bundle anymore. It's just a stamp set and the dies and I've made this card um, using the Reindeer Fun paper because, well, quite honestly, it was still on my desk. And, um, and I coordinated it with the, um, with the dies and the stamp set from Marius Trees. So let's get going. If you're watching, you're probably wondering, wow, Lori is not wearing makeup for at least the second time this week. And that's just the way it is. There's been three days this week when I didn't have to actually go out in public. And I thought, here we go. I'm just going to go for it. So, so I apologize if that scares you. Um, Hi, Monica. Thanks for being here. All right, so I have today a tag on the front of my card with um, with a die cut tree and then the reindeer fun paper. I started out to use the back side of this paper. Let me show you the back side. It is trees on one side and the trees with the deer on the other. Um, this is the piece I started with. And I realized when I put my tag on that it was gonna cover all these cute little deer. So for this card today, I think I'm just gonna use this side with the trees. I dropped one of something on my floor here. Have you ever looked at, um, looked at your card after you're done and thought, hmm, I wish I'd done something a little bit different. So this one, I was like, you know, the tag is a little bit plain. And then the tree, I noticed in the dies, there is an available, this is what I dropped, tree base, like a tr Christmas tree base. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit this time. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I like that any better. And if we don't, then we'll just leave it as is. But, all right, so I'm gonna start with a granny apple green card base. And it is just, I did a four and a quarter by 11. Whoops, my paper is slidey today. Got my card base. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach my designer series paper. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the tree piece because because I want I don't want to hide those cute little deer. So we're just gonna put them on the back, and no one will even know. Okay, put that. We're gonna put that onto our garden green panel. And I've die cut the panel. Goodness. My, my panel has the tag cut right out of the middle. So I saved some space. I didn't save some paper. Got my, my designer series paper attached. Okay, if I had a window, I'd have a cute little reindeer poking out the back. All right, then we'll go ahead and we'll attach this panel directly to the card base. And I'm gonna show you something, a little boo-boo that I have going here that I'm not happy about. My trimmer blade needed to be replaced and I didn't realize it. And so if you have this, if your trimmer blade is not quite sharp enough, it'll give you little fuzzies. And you can just take your fingernail and rub those or you can also um, wipe them along your jeans if you're wearing a pair of jeans and then those little fuzzies will come off. So this one's just a background of trees. It's all about the trees for this one. Now, I have two tags. I have my plain tag, which is just like my one on the first card, but then I have a second tag that I ran through the, the plaid um, embossing folder that's new. So this is what that one would look like. So I think I'm gonna add that little bit of texture to this, to this card. There's the the plaid one. 
and then there's the plain one. I, th I think we're gonna go plaid. So, just like I said, sometimes when you, I make a card, I look at it a little bit later and I think, hmm, I wish I'd done this. Or I wish I'd done that. So, I'm going to stamp my words first on my die cut tree. I die cut this with the Marius Trees dies. And let me show you these really quick. There's the, the stamp, and the stamp has multiple layers. Let's see. Here's my solid card. It has multiple layers, and you can see those. The dies that match will actually cut those layers. Let me scoot that back a little bit. We'll cut those layers, so you can have a shorter tree or a taller tree. Sorry, those are... Oh, I'm throwing things. Goodness gracious. All right. The guys are all thrown. So we can cut the full tree. Oops, that's the rubber side. It's stuck. The full tree. We could cut four layers of the tree. So we could cut, have our tree that big. If you're just joining me, I'm showing the Marius Trees dies today and how the stamp can be used to make one, two, three, or, or two, three, four, and I can't even count, two, three, four, or five layers tall. So your tree could be taller or shorter than um, in each one. This one, I just did the four layer. I didn't need a really tall tree because I'm attaching it to, to the die cut tag. Right, let me put my dies aside. All right, so like I said, if you're just joining me, I am using the Marius Trees bundle. It's not a bundle anymore, it's the stamp set and the dies. And we're gonna put it on a tag with a tree. And I'm using paper from the Reindeer Fun paper. And I have the trees. I'm using just the trees for this one. Um, this one I used the reindeer. Um, and then I have two tags. So if you're watching and you want to vote, but I, we've already probably made our decision. I have my plain tag, and then I have my run through the embossing folder tag. So if you have a preference on which one you like, let me know really quick while I stamp. I'm going to set those right there so that you can see them. And I'm going to stamp my words on my tree. So back to my tree. Right, the, this stamp says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And it fits right in the tree. It fits right in on the tree's um, belly, so to speak. So my tree is garden green. And I'm going to stamp it in, or my, my tree is grainy apple green. I'm stamping it in garden green. There we go. Okay. While I have my ink out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my inside sentiment. And I just used the sentiment from the thing that says, hoping your oh man hoping your home is filled with the spirit of the season i'm going to go ahead and stamp my panel right on the front or on the inside panel front inside oh having a some word issues today it's thursday you'd think it was friday and i was in the home stretch all right so there's our inside panel now i can put my ink away because because you watch if you watched before you understand Okay, so let's use the plaid embossing, embossed tag, which is just going to add a little bit of texture. So I'm going to get that ready, and then I'm going to glue my tree right about here. Except, since I have the plaid embossing folder, I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of my tree, um, just so it doesn't fall off, because um, it's harder to make something stick on a rough surface, on a bumpy surface. I'm gonna make sure I put my dimensionals on the correct side. I think I'll put three. I'm using the mini dimensionals so I can place those. Peel my backing off. I'm actually pretty excited. Um, next week is Halloween, of course, on October 31st. And then after that, is when I start decorating for Christmas. I know that y'all think probably think I'm kind of crazy. 
Um, but we do love Christmas at our house and we have a whole lot of trees. So I got to get started early. So that's what I'm looking forward to to next week. All right. I have the white frayed grow grain ribbon and I'm going to just cut maybe, I don't know, probably I'm going to say about a three inch, probably little piece. And I'm going to feed that through the hole in the tag. It's not long enough to tie a knot or a bow or not. It's just gonna be up like this, okay? So I have the edge. You can do three to four inches. I think either one would be okay. And then I have the Natural Tones Linen Thread, which is actually part of the Nests of Winter Suite in the, in the September to December mini catalog. And I'm gonna use the Garden Green because that's our color scheme today. I'm gonna cut a piece off. I'm just gonna tie it in a knot right around the top of this tag. I'm not sure if leaving it in a knot is enough or if I should go ahead and make a bow. My other tag has a bow, so I'm going to see what it looks like. I think I need a little bit more, a little bit heavier. It's linen thread. It's pretty thin. If it was the, um, the thicker, I'm not sure what it's called, the in-color cording type stuff, um, we could probably get by with it, but I'm just going to wad up a little bit, make, make the Lori bow, use the tails that I just created with my, my knotted piece. Sometimes I lose track of those as I wrap it around. Oh. Somebody suggested the fork bow to me the other day, and I was like, you don't understand. I'm not a bow tire. I've tried that. So I'm just gonna call it the Lori bow. The Lori fake bow. Okay, let me trim my edges. Okay, so now we have our tree and we have our tag. We're just gonna put that however you want. Actually, I think I wanna make mine a little bit more cattywampus, that's my word. You know what, or not, I think I'll leave it. Okay, so let's attach our tag. Sometimes you learn these things as you go. Like I said, I kind of added the linen, not the linen thread, the plaid embossing folder to the tag after I made the first one because I thought that one looks a little plain. So let, we're gonna compare, stay tuned, stay tuned. And then I'm trying to decide also if my Christmas tree needs a base. So we'll look at that as well. Take off my dimensional bags. I'm bound to determine, and I think I did it, to use the very end of my dimensional sheet. I think for two days, my video, I've said I'm gonna do it and it didn't happen. Today, it happened. All right. There we go. I wanna make that tree straight, so. Okay, now, what do you think? Should I add a tree base? make it look like it's a Christmas tree or should I not I have a pecan pie base there's there's option a or we've got an early espresso base that looks like this what do you think should I add the base or should I leave it off we have the light pecan pie base we have the early espresso base and then we have it without if you have a great opinion, let me know. Let me let me know what you think. I'll pause for just a second so you have time to to add that. I do love um, while you're thinking. While you're thinking, I do love the grow grain ribbon. This ribbon can actually be colored with a Stampin' Blend. Um, so if you wanted to make it garden green or granny apple green and tie it on there, you could absolutely do that. Um, all right, Monica says no tree skirt type. Thing. So we will leave those off. She is the first one to answer, so that that's perfect. Now, the only thing that I have left to add to my card is um, a little bit. It's not really bling. I'm gonna add some textured textured dots, and back, adhesive back textured dots, and these are so versatile. They're almost a coppery sort of color. Um, pute, I'm not sure coppery sort of between gold and brown and copper. And they're a little bit more rustic. So I'm gonna add some of those to our, to my tag, I think, to make it so it's got a little bit more oomph to it. 
Let's see. And then maybe a small one. I'll go ahead and add them all to my tag. My other one, I added one on the reindeer side. But I think I'm just going to add them all to my tag for this one. All right. So I have the first one, was, which was my sample. And I had the plain tag. was not embossed. There we go. Hopefully you can see those. My plain one, my plain tag, the tree. And then this one, I just flipped the paper over and used the back side. I still can't really see. Use the back side, and I use the plaid embossing folder on the tag. So that's just a little bit of a step up. You can make a very simple card, or you can make it a little bit fancier and add, add things to it as you go. All right, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me for day 24. Um, be sure to join my email list, and that is in the will be in the comment or in the video description. If you haven't, so you know what's coming up. I have several Christmas things coming up online and in person. And um, and then you'll know what kind of special Stampin' Up! has as well. And then um, I will look forward to seeing you all very soon, hopefully tomorrow for day 25. We're on the countdown. We have six more days together. So I will look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.